in this tutorial we are going to learn how we can develop a speedometer chart here on the screen we can see that we have a chart and this chart has a needle and range of data so this needle is showing data which is there in cell b13 so if i change value from 60 to let's say 20 press enter and we can see that needle is moving and now it is showing 20 so let me change the value one more time this time let me make it 70 and now we can see that needle is pointing to 70 so in this tutorial we are going to learn how we can develop this so let me delete this chart so that we can start creating this chart from scratch so before creating a speedometer chart we need to understand that how we can arrange data for this chart so on this sheet i have data in this data starting value to dark blue value and then one cell has value for blank space so i want to explain here that sum of these cells should be equal to blank space cell so we can see here if i total these values so this is 110 and for blank space i have kept value as 110 then column c has values and these values will be displaying so these values are let's say 0 equal to this cell and then 15 equal to this 15 and then next cell which is 30 is 15 plus 15 then 30 plus 20 equal to 50 and we can see that here in b10 we have 110 and c9 has 110 so this is how data is arranged now there is one more part of data and that data is for pointer so for pointer or for needle we have three data points one is value and we have one cell for value then pointer we will write value for pointer here in this cell that is b14 and then end point value or end value for pointer that is this cell so we can see that end point value which is cell b15 has a formula and this formula if we study is from b3 to b10 that means sum of these values and then minus b13 and b14 that means 145 sorry that means 220 minus these two cells which is 75 as of now so now this is the formula for end point now let's start so what i'll do i'll go to insert and then from chart section i'll select a donut chart here we have blank chart i right click and then select data so first of all i'll select b2 to b10 and then press ok one more time right click on the chart area and then select data so we have a series named speedometer i'll click on speedometer and then click on edit and here for level range i'll select from c2 to c9 and one more time i'll select c2 
to see 10 press ok and click on ok now I'll select this data series then right click and I'll select the option format data series so here we get this option format data series first of all angle of first slice I'll increase this to 270 Now we can see that 50% of part or I would say data which is for blank space is covering 50% part. Now once we have set the angle of first slice as 270 then I will select the brown part and then using the fill and line option I select no fill we can close this now now we can see that in data we have light green then dark green light red so we can select any data point and right click format data point and then we can fill any color that we want so let me select red and in the same manner we can click on any data point and change the color now I am closing this I will select all the data points one more time then right click and now add data labels So we have these data levels but I will right click and format data levels and here instead of values I would click on category name and I will uncheck values. Now we can close this and we can increase the font size or make it bold or whatever formatting we want to do here now I right click in the chart area one more time select data and this time I will click on add series name I will select pointer for series values I will select these three cells press ok and here we can press OK now we will select outer donut chart and then I'll go to design and here we have a chart type so I'll select this option change chart type on this screen we can see that combo chart is already selected for pointer I'll select pie chart from drop down and then here this check box I'll click here for secondary axis press ok and now can now we can see that this is pie chart created by using the outer donut chart now right click and format data series so one more time we will set the angle of first slice and this angle should be same as previous data series which was 270 so let me make it 270 now I can close this now I can select this gray part right click format data point and I will fill as no fill then this blue part of pie chart and no fill 
so we are left with only needle so we can change color of this needle so whatever color we want I'll select here black and then I can close this for needle I'll right click once I'll right click then I'll say add data level and here we can see that 5 is shown which is coming from cell B14 so I'll select only 5 and then right click or I can use this plus sign then data labels and here we get this small right arrow I'll click here and select more options here also I would like to show as category name instead of value and press OK actually I should have done this only for this needle so I'll right click and add data level for 5 I'll say format data level and then category name value I'll uncheck and here we can see it is displaying 2 so I'll select this 2 and then in formula bar I'll type equal to sign and I'll select cell B13 which is for value press enter and now we can see that it is showing 70 I can delete non-required points and I can delete this legend also and we are ready with speedometer chart we can format as per the requirement let's say I want to make it bold or I want to increase font size font color or anything we can do with the formatting now let's try by changing the value so if I change 70 to 30 press enter and we can see that speedometer chart is perfectly working so this is how by using some small tricks we can create a professional speedometer chart for our dashboard or other chart requirements if you like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel for any questions write into comments i'll respond your queries as soon as possible thanks for watching